This is called Ujjalpa. And uh, Srimati Radharani is, uh, is, respects Krishna. She's actually respecting, but she is telling that you are duplicitous. You say one thing and you do another thing. But indirectly, she is glorifying Krishna, specifically when she is saying even the Supreme Goddess herself worshipped the dust of his feet. So Lakshmi Devi <clears throat> is the one who is doing Pada Sevanam. She has perfected her service through Pada Sevanam. So here, Srimati Radharani, although she is glorifying Lakshmi Devi, you know, being that, oh, you know, Krishna has deceived us, but she, look at Lakshmi Devi, she is still attached to serving the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu, uh, of the Supreme Lord. So she is glorifying Lakshmi Devi, and from her heart, she is glorifying. Uh, Srila Jiva Goswami, however, says that what is the position of Lakshmi Devi? That uh, one time when Krishna disappeared from the Rasa dance, uh, then the gopis were searching for Krishna, and then Krishna himself appeared in front of them with a four-handed Narayan form. And then the gopis came and said, Hey, Narayan, you're here. Tell us, tell us, did Krishna come here? Did Krishna come? So the gopis, this pastime goes on to say that the gopis are never attracted to anyone but Krishna. Their entire being is just for Krishna and nobody else. So even Lord Vishnu, even Lord Narayan, they, they went and asked him, where is our beloved Krishna? Did Krishna come here? Did you see him go from here? But on the other side, Srila Jeeva Goswami explains that position of Lakshmi Devi. Lakshmi Devi was attracted and captivated by the qualities of Krishna. And she wanted to enter into Goloka Vrindavan. She wanted to gain entrance. So therefore, which forest is she doing tapasya in? In one of the 12 forests of Vrindavan? Belvan. Belvan. Belvan is also known as Lakshmi one, Shri one. Because Lakshmi Devi is said to be eternally doing tapasya there to gain entrance into the Rasa dance, to gain entrance into Goloka. Because when she wanted to go inside, she was stopped. Mm -hmm. She was stopped because she was said that if you want to enter Goloka, you have to do, you have to, you know, accept the Anugatya. You have to become a follower of the Brajavadhus, of the gopis of Vrindavan. And Srimati Lakshmi Devi said, okay, who are the gopis of Vrindavan? And she was shown, look, they are the gopis. Gopis of Vrindavan, they are milking the cows. And she saw that, you know, they are taking cow dung patties and, you know, their hands are filled with cow dung. They're making, you know, fart, fart, fart. They're making cow dung patties. And Lakshmi Devi goes, ew. <laughs> really? They're Anugatya. How can I become their follower? I am the goddess of fortune. I am Shri. How can I? You know, for me, I don't even touch anything with my bare hands. And they're touching cow dung. No, 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 no. I will gain entrance without that aspect. So therefore, till today, she is in Belavan, trying to gain access into uh, Rasa dance and to the pastimes of Shri Ratha and Krishna. But still she's doing the pasya. Yeah. But at the same time, Srila Radharaman Maharaj explains that we must not uh, look down upon Lakshmi Devi in any way that, oh, look, she was so proud and she could not accept the anugatya or the, to become the follower of the Vrajavadhus. But at the same time, she's, a, you know, at least definitely so much more qualified, so much more better because she is doing the pasya. And she is teaching us that, what? Because Krishna uses his dear devotees to show how to act. And Krishna also uses his dear devotees to show how not to act. 
So Krishna is using Lakshmi Devi to show that how much ever tapasya you may be doing. Even I will dedicate an entire forest of mine in your name, but still you will not be allowed into the, the confidential pastimes. Unless. Unless we, she learns to take shelter of the gopis. Gopi bhartu pada kamala yor dasa 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 nudas. So therefore, Krishna, he is equal to everyone. But still, the Vrajavadhus, Srimati Ratharani, hold a very, very special, unique place in the life of Krishna. They are the penultimate for Krishna. For them, Krishna is everything. And for Krishna, they are everything.